Alrighty, generally when I talk about effects in 7 Day Songs I jump into Redrum, so this time I'll show you an alternative method that can give you some different options. So Combinator, name it DemFX, we can get away with the Dem as well, I think at least. Create Line Mixer 6 to 2 and NNXT. Initialize the NNXT and open it up. And add in the samples we want to use, just like we did for the vocal sample in our vocoder tutorial previously. So I've just added them in, but once they're all in, select them all. Control A, I just did. I right click and click Auto Map Zones Chromatically, and that does this. It gives each sample a different semitone on the keyboard. And that semitone will trigger it. You can trigger these much like you would in Redrum, as I said. Now it's got different semitones available for each. Except here you have tons of space for different samples, as well as more LFO and filter options to play with. If you want to mess around with your effects a bit, it's a lot easier with NNXT than with Redrum. And to change the level of different effects, because they might be a bit louder than each other, just select one, and down here in the amp envelope you'll find the level option here, and that just changes the volume for you. Not exactly rocket science. Ok, I'll just add in some notes now. Now I'll show you another useful trick. Say I wanted to apply delay to one of these samples, but not the rest. This stabber sample here sounds violent enough to warrant extending. So, select it. Then down here, right on the right, you'll see out. This defines which outputs to send the sample out of the NNXT instance from. Hit tab to see that there's 16 different outputs you can select. Now that's 8 stereo pairs, so change the output to 3, 4. And then on the back, Drag 3 and 4 to new inputs here in the mixer. Now all we need to do is right click the mixer and create DDL1 digital delay line. Take the steps down to 2 and let's bring up that feedback a little bit. And now if we take the auxiliary up a little bit and trigger it. See? Delay on that sample but not on the others really useful for manipulating the samples beyond NNXT's capabilities. Lastly, I'm going to add a bit of reverb to the rest of the samples. So just right click NNXT and create RV7000 Advanced Reverb. And we're just going to bring that dry wet down to about 3 eighths of the way around and just leave it on that and... And that just makes it sit a bit better in the mix. So if we do take a listen to those samples, we've got a picked guitar, which is reminiscent of Lady Gaga, she has it in 90% of her songs, I swear. A nice and generic funky hit. A wah guitar that wishes it was in a 70s cop show. And that... stabber hit that we've got there. The other two are just there, kind of hitching a ride on this tutorial, they just wanted some extra fame. But we'll ignore them. Don't give them attention or they'll come back for more. Anyway, these are all from the Reason Factory Sound Bank. If you just look in Reason Factory Sound Bank, other samples, and then you've got chords, phrases, pad stabs, and FX Vox. Both of those folders are chock full of gold. If by gold you mean funky hits. And check out the beat with the effects added in. There we have it. Some blips more jazzy than Will Smith's cohort on the Fresh Prince, a vocoder more freaking awesome than skateboarding out of an exploding plane whilst playing a massive guitar solo, and some effects adding more cherries on top than an OCD baker's cake. Join me tomorrow for part 5, where I'll be going au natural with some piano, string stabs, and a big old bell to fill out the last parts of the beat. Later!